to do a laser to remove the tattoo. There is difference in professional and amateur tattoos in terms of the amount of time it requires to remove it with the laser. Usually amateur tattoos take about four, professional about eight, and it depends also when the patient is happy. You want to make sure that the pulse is a little bigger than the spot itself, otherwise it will look, it won't go deep enough and it will not look, not look good. It will just look white in that area. So we're going to go and we're going to go uh, not too fast. So we're going to slow down the speed and we're going to track the, the lines. So a little bit uncomfortable, let me know if you need a break. And when you hear that it's not popping, you want to increase the energy a little bit because you want to hear a little bit popping sound that it's absorbed. Was it painful? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So obviously you need to increase even more. All right, so here we go. You see, mm -hmm. there was a pop and it worked well. Yeah. It disappeared. Was it painful? But okay, I can lower the energy. The, the, the stronger it is, the, the, the yeah. faster it will go away, though. Then it's different now. Mm -hmm. No, no, you need to dial. Call us. It's also very important what you do afterwards. So you want to make sure that you keep the area constantly lubricated, just like you do after you put the tattoo. Mm -hmm. And the way to lubricate so you don't develop a scar is to put aquaphor on the area. You don't want to cover it with the makeup and ideally you also want to, you also want to cover it with something that will prevent it from being rubbed and that's usually the same thing that you have in a band-aid the white non-sticky part of the band-aid oh the face yeah. yeah tuesday well they can they can come see uh, Haley already it depends if they Haley's want to do the exercise Oh, she left the vacation. Oh, nice for her. Yes. They can come see Elena. See Elena Monday? Yeah, if they want to. If they want to. Yeah, because if, if not, then, I mean, mm -hmm. then they'll need to come another day to see me. Last letter. <laughs> and you see this one was stronger sound? Mm -hmm. And yeah. the last one was more painful. That's because yeah. there was more color in there. Because when they did it, and she had it done uh, somewhere else twice, but she wasn't unhappy because it didn't really make any difference. So oh. you did, you did. Oh my God, you did very, very well. Um, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't go too high. I usually start 0.8, but you saw you didn't really feel much there, and there was much reaction. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply aquaphor on top of the area. Yeah. <laughs> Mila, you're very fast. Amazing. Um, and and uh, we'll and cover, cover it with, with the telephone. telephone. Okay. And that's about it. Um, I want to see you back uh, in a week to make sure that everything is feeling fine. And usually I tell people to come back once a month. The reason is it continues to improve. Once you break up the big globules mm -hmm. of pigment with the laser, it broken to smaller globules and the cells called macrophages, which is macro, big, phage, eater, big eaters, part of our immune system, they take away that color and they clear it out of the system so that you, you pee it out. But in order to do that, you need to remove that huge concentration because it can't, it can't attack it. So once you call it divide and conquer kind of thing, yeah? So that's what the, the plan. And each time you can, you can, depending on how you do, we can increase it. If any questions, you give me a call, you guys have my number. And that's about it. Any other questions? Sun, avoid the sun in that day, yeah, obviously, you know. Sun. When the bandage, when do I take off the bandage? Once a day. You take it off once a day and you put aquaphor and then you replace a new one. Oh. You can actually put the silicone on top. What do you think? So she doesn't have to do anything else. So we can put the silicone on top so you don't need to put the telfa. Put the, the ointment, then silicone on top, mm -hmm. and, and that's about it. And the nice thing about the silicone, you can shower with water. You, you, water can drip over it, but yeah. the, you don't want it to beat at it, and no soap on that area. Okay. 
because it dries it to heal slow. Okay. And then tomorrow, for example, like in the morning, I wake up, what do I do? Do I also change the... Like no, you can do it in the evening. You can do it in the evening. If it stays stuck there, you can do it in the evening. If you want to do it in the morning, just you get fresh so you're not like at school work, wherever it is, yeah. and, and it falls off. So yeah, put a new one. And then you go already with a fresh one. And then put the aquifer before putting on the soil. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And you don't need to wash it in between. Just put another layer of aquifer and other things. If there's still aquifer on top, don't worry. Put another aquifer on top of that. Once a day. Once a day is enough. For how many if it days? feels like it's burning or itching, you can put it again another time. But you do it for a week, then we send me back. And then we decide what to do. <laughs>